that talking made it happen. Made it happen. Few bumps was in a row, but stay proactive. Stay proactive. Yeah, oh. running like my stash still in the mag. Hey kings and queens, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're an oldie bug goodie, how you doing or whatever? How your side day going? Let me know. Leave it down in the comments. How your side day going? If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by for considering your girl. Her, she, me, ooh. Thank you, and if you do like the content on here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and also don't forget to hit the like button because that helps you grow a whole, whole, whole lot of, whole lot of, whole. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so I have zoomed you guys in, as you can see, and this is just a real quick spiel if you're new here. This is my weekly check-in for August 15 to 21 of 2020. Date is the day that they posted on my account literally when they post on my account guys it's just living overseas like things will show up on my transaction when i swipe my card to use and then they will like fall off and i am on a cash budget but i use my card to make payments first and then i pay on my card one for just fraud protection two for the coin shortage and then three is just easier for me and i can track everything better that way so that's why, and I wanted to be able to trap my money. So I decided just whenever I hit final posting on my um, bank statement or on the app, that's the date I'm gonna use. Category is whichever category it's coming out of. Description is what I bought. Amount is the total amount for the item. And then saving is the amount, oh! Y'all. That was a whole lot. Okay, first of all, okay, second and third, fourth, fifth and sixth of all, all right? I don't know why, <laughs> yo, this dude is running so fast. <laughs> y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all saw that lightning. Maybe y'all saw it on the screen, I don't know, but that was a big lightning. And then the thunder that just came after it, guys. I'm telling you, every time I decide to record, something happens, something just happens, so, but, oh. Let me finish. Okay, so amount is the total of the item that I bought. Savings is the cents up to the next dollar. So if I bought something for $4 and let's say 80 cents, then the 20 cents would go underneath saving and then I would have a total of $5 that I would put back into my account from whichever cash envelope that I used. So, since now that we got all the excitement out of the way, let's get into the weekly check-in. All right, guys, so um, the first thing, right? So the first thing happened, well, it didn't happen on the 17th, but well, yes, it did. Well, no, it didn't. Okay, it posted to my account on the 17th. So that's how we gonna start it off. So the first post into my account for finalized transaction, and guys, I live overseas in South Korea. So because of the currency conversion, that's the reason why I'm waiting until things are posted and finalized. But I'm on the 17th and it was groceries. And I'm just gonna write that I went to the commissary to buy something and a total for this was $54.02 and so that gave a whole whopping 98 cents y'all to savings and we here for it because every saving every little bit is cute and so that is $55 total then again on the 17th from our what is up in the lightning going on y'all okay all right y'all hear this thundering in the background listen some things we just can't change so if y'all see these lightning i hear these thunders your girl trying okay but your girl just don't know when these lightnings and thunders gonna hit so this is what we call real life <laughs> but okay guys Whew. okay so oh lord category is gas and this is literally for fuel for my car and i've realized that fuel for my car is 21 dollars. it's always like 21 dollars because i don't go below half one thing my daddy told me is not to go below half so i don't go below half and i always try to stay even i'm not that person i'm that person when you go to the gas station and it says oh 
83 cents, I put it up to the next dollar. Like, I hate that. So <laughs> I'm that person that like my things even. And if it do, if it does like go over by one cent, I'm going up to the next dollar. You gonna get all this gas. <laughs> Yeah, guys, that is me. So the next thing happened on the 17th as well, and this was from Personal Care. Y'all, I'm in quarantine, and I decided that for my personal care while I'm in quarantine, I was gonna buy me some wine, and that's what I did. I bought me two Stella Rose Black, and they came up to $29.90. However, comma, I split the difference of the $29.90 for my wine between my personal care and my weekly spending, which is our next thing that we did. And so this as well will be for wine. And this was $10. So the total for everything was $29.90 and I used my weekly spending $10 plus $20 from personal care to account for the entire purchase of the wine. So that's what happened with that or whatever. The next thing is for travel. So, and this happened on the 18th. Y'all, I thought I saw a flash, Oh Lord. Um, so the category is travel and this is for multiple things. So I have it for taxis, for snacks, for Starbucks, for, and for Julio restaurant, which is a, um, Mexican restaurant that is out here. In Seoul, which was so good. It was so good. It was so good. So that's what everything that I use for travel. This was the combination of me going there and coming back, but everything hit my account on the 18th. So that's why it's all grouped together. And so the total of all of those was $46.51. cent. So we put 49 cents towards saving and that is a total of $47. The next thing that happened was groceries and that was 8.18. Your girl knew she was gonna be in quarantine guys so she like stocked up on groceries. And so this was for food and this was off base and the off base like Walmart type establishment is called E-Mart or Home Plus. So either one of those and I went to E-Mart. And so what had happened was my groceries got emptied y'all. It got emptied. Y'all I'm so sorry for the thunder in the background but like I said this is natural. This is life and this is just what happens. But my groceries got emptied and so the only thing that was left over in my groceries was $12. After everything was said and done, I only had $12 left over in groceries. And so that $12 I put towards um, my total of groceries that I bought at E-Mart. So I bought both of these groceries on the same day but they posted differently in my account and so I consider them differently for um, processing dates. So I went to the commissary and bought food and I also went off base and bought food and that was $12. And so, like I said, $12 was all that was left in my account. So $12, well, in my cash envelopes. So $12 was all that goes towards it. Y'all, I gotta bring in the red pen. I gotta be honest with y'all. I gotta let y'all know what's up, okay? I knew I was going into quarantine. And also, I realized with my budget, I wasn't um, being, I wasn't giving myself enough 
to spend because one things are getting more expensive here and two like if I wanted to buy off base things off base is way more expensive than things on base so the same amount of like bag of apples that I can get on base for like let's say four dollars I'll probably pay I don't know like six seven off base like it's more expensive off base and then like there's certain things that I just get more of off base and oh one thing so like you know bananas you can get them in like you know a bunch of bananas and you can just like tear off and they go by pounds no over here if they have like 16 fingers of bananas on one thing they're selling you the entire 16 fingers of bananas for like ten dollars so things like that I can't like change and so because of that I have to adjust as is and so yeah you know it's just one of those things so when I went grocery shopping for quarantine I ended up overspending and so this also happened on the 18th for groceries so all of these happen one two three groceries happened on the 18th happened on um the same day but they posted well these these this posted from these two but i had to separate them just to make sure that whatever was left over in groceries that i could use that i accounted for it and then whatever excess that i was going over in budget i did that separately so that i would know later on and then i'm also going to put me some notes down here so i can you know know what's up so um yeah so groceries right so this was for food at Emar again. And so the total of this was $80.17. And so $0.83 cents is what I um, will be putting towards savings. And then $81.00 is the total that will be going yeah guys i like quarantine like really like messed up my budget and this is the second month it's messed up my budget first time in july when i tried to do weekly check-in for the first time and it just was not working out and then now that i'm here and trying to do weekly budgeting again it is you know throw me for a loop so I realized two things with doing these weekly check-in one I'm not giving myself enough money for groceries because I do buy food off base and it is more expensive off base and two I never know what's gonna happen and so my body can be thrown out of whack and because I don't know how much I'm gonna eat what I'm gonna need like I cannot adjust for those so I need to increase my grocery budget basically to account for these but all that explanation so y'all know what's up let's move on <laughs> okay so the last two transactions happened on the 19th so the first one is for travel and like i said all things travel happened all on the same well no well yeah. some of it happened on one day some of it happened on the next so i can't say that but um, all of these transaction happened on the same day. This one transaction happened on same day as at least one of these, but they're posted differently. I'm just, it's, it, it's okay. Um, but this was for a taxi and the amount for the taxi was 787 and so 13 cents is going towards savings and that's a total of eight dollars now i know some of y'all are saying hey you know you already took out of travel and you took this money out and all of these happened why don't you just put travel together or why don't you just put all of groceries together so i want to follow what my statement says and my statement says that all these transactions posted on different days and so that's what i'm going to be using when i reference later on when I go up and be like, oh, what is this? Why did I do this? Um, why is this date separate from this? Because they all happen on different days. The reason all of these are grouped together, like I said, is because even though it's 
um, on, even though it's different things, it's all posted on the same day. And so if I go back, I can reference my date to my transaction date and then everything makes sense to me. So, you know, it's just how you do your budget and what works for you. All right, guys. So the last thing also, I can save a little bit more extra, you know, just a little bit more extra. Um, the last thing, it's not a red pen, it's actually a green pen. And this also happened on the 19th. Ooh, y'all, my green pen finishing. So, ooh, no, that is not cute, my green pen finishing. Okay, so on the 19th, account buffer got used. And so if y'all have watched my bike budget video, then you guys know that I got 300 for that bike and I budgeted $30 for tithing. However, y'all see this mistake that I made? It's a big old mistake. <laughs> y'all, I was drawing the line and my finger was right there. I was like, bruh, come on now, come on. But um, no, I budgeted $30 for, for tithing and my ATM that's in the state that my parents use because they're the ones who take out money for my tithes, it was actually, it doesn't allow 10s, it only allows 20s. So they took out $40 instead of um, the 30, and I'm cool with that. So, but for me, for future reference, just to know how, what happened, I am putting it on here so that I can, you know, be aware. And that's really what budgeting is for. It lets you be aware of like, what happened and this is what this tracking is for so let me know what happened with my money so i'm not like you know flabbergasted or anything if you know i can't find it or something like that so that is ten dollars so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna add up my total i'm gonna add up my savings and then come back with the final total amount of the week for what we spent Okay guys, so as you guys can see, for the amount that I spent for this week, it was $261.47. Amount that's going to savings is $2.53. And then my total amount overall for the entire week is $264. So what I want to do, so I created this new section right here, which is bank deposit. And what that basically is, is the amount of money I'm depositing into my bank account, that is the amount that's going here. And so it's a second way for me to just keep track of things. So this is my, oops, this is my bank deposit envelope. And so what I do is every transaction that is on here is also on here, but in the total amount version. So I like to keep track to make sure that I am keeping up with this and so i know exactly what's being deposited because for example right guys this groceries i do not have this 81 dollars. so one it's in red because i don't have it i will have to account for it on my next paycheck and two this ten dollars right here that's already been paid in process that's why i put it in green so i do not need this right here so um the bank deposit will literally be all of these all of the totals that are in black only that will be the bank deposit so that would be the 264 minus 81 ooh i'm sorry minus ooh 264 minus the 81 dollars right here minus the 10 cents right here, which is 273. And that should be what I have to deposit into the bank. And guys, let me verify. I'll just verify with you guys so you guys can see. And I think I'm off by a dollar just because this is $8. And on this sheet right here, for my last one, I know it's all scribbled, but on my last one, it says seven. So I know I should be off by a dollar and I'll update that. But this should be 
173 or 172 dollars because i still have to add one dollar so 20 40 60 80 100 10 20 30 40 50 55 60 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 and i'm going to get the dollar from travel and that would be 73 so this is the amount now i would go and i would deposit into the bank and i would um pay the amount that's required on my credit card for everything that's in black and then also transfer for savings everything that's also in black so this is a total of 173 and guys finally i'm gonna write in my notes for what i should be aware of and then we will wrap up this video So I have completed my notes part um, and just the updates I needed to do. And so yeah, that is the finalized weekly check-in of everything. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give me a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share with somebody, anybody. You know, just somebody. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. It's your girl Anik and AK, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I won't get it. I'm out that. Huh. Out of my mind. Can't even talk. Can't even walk. Bad little thing. But